GM. Hi everyone, I haven't done one of these for a while. Uh, a bit of blitz, just knocking it out, not streaming it, just for you two, you, YouTube, you two? Hopefully there's more than two people watching this. Just for you guys over on the YouTube channel. Um, now, what I'm actually gonna do today, um, I'm only gonna play openings from the Ginger GM killer range. So as white, I'm gonna play hopefully what I recommend in Killer D4. And I, I wanna test my memory because it's been a long time since I filmed these, about 10 years ago. So I'm gonna stick with that with white. As black, okay, I'm not gonna do the killer range, but I'm gonna do Tiger's Modern against E4. So I'm gonna try to remember everything for Tiger's Modern. And against D4, I'm gonna do the classical Dutch. Now there is a reason uh, I'm gonna play these particular openings, which hopefully will become apparent a little bit later on. It's something very exciting that we're, we're doing at Ginger GM. And uh, if you watch my last stream, you'll, you'll have a bit of inside information on, on what we're trying to create at Ginger GM. So let's get a game on. Okay, who's the first victim? Okay, so against E4, I'm gonna play Tiger Hill at Persons main opening, which is Tiger's Modern. And let's see how much I remember. So this is really Tiger's idea to play A6 and start an attack on the queen side with this move. Now, Bishop B7 looks natural and here, I probably don't want to move this knight because of bishop h6. So let's try to start counterplay with c5, which, which is the standard move. And I can even play c5 now, uh, which I think I'm going to do. And we actually now can get very Dragador flight positions if I capture here. Um, and this is where my theory uh, might... Uh, might I might struggle a little bit. So do I take this straight away? And it looks like we have transposed directly into a Dragadorf, which is quite interesting. So I am, I'm gonna take there. And if Bishop takes, I have Knight here. Um, and I have two squares for my Knight, these two squares, which seems to be quite positive for me. I'm gonna use this square, because I always have E5 gaining a useful tempo. Uh, my opponent might better sacrifice here. And he has done, so we're going to get a very unique position already because he's going to win material by taking this one, but maybe his bishop is in trouble. So already very interesting. Now, do I go d5? Let's try this one. Now, I mean, the great thing about Tiger's Modern it is it's a perfect opening for, you, for those of you who hate draws. You always get some chaos, some madness uh, in the position. Uh, and it really really is a very exciting opening to play. Um, I've discussed the pros and cons of it with some top players. And, you know, at, at top level, I, I, I don't know if it's 100% sound, but, you know, that's at top, top level. Oh, this is a very clever move, because now if I take, he goes here, and he's going to take my queen. So, uh, uh, so that's, a, that's a bit annoying, because he's going to castle by hand. And if he manages to do that, he should be doing okay. So... That's very annoying. I missed this one because I don't have a good discovered check. So rook d1 is a star move and I expect this leaves me in trouble. I always lose the first game anyway. So, uh, you know, oh dear. Okay, so what do we do? e6 looks a bit wrong. Uh, I really want to take here, don't I? Uh, but I can't, unfortunately. Now, can I do something like, oh, I'm running out of time as well. Uh, dear Simon, you're going to have to back down, aren't you? Okay, so let, let's let's try to just play f6 a bit later and win his queen like this and play quickly. This is what looks like the best chance to me. If I can just try to trap his bishop, put my king here, then anything's still possible. So I have to move a bit quicker now. If f4, I move my rook in, maybe even to c8. Maybe c 8s good. I can try to get a bit of pressure here. Okay, so let's try this. I also have some check here, might be useful. Um, but can I play this one? And then knight e7, try to get my last piece out. I'm gonna lose on time unless I hurry up, so I'll shut up and play now. He has got f4. This is getting very complex. Then I take here. If f, okay, he's gone backwards and he wants to play this pawn move. But then I can take here. Okay, this is another way he's gonna play. What is this position like? Let's try to exchange off as I'm material down. 
material up, material down. I don't know. What am I? Maybe it's just even uh, as I'm running out of time. Okay, so he's he's clearly playing. He's a very quick player. So now B4 is my idea, of course. And I think I'm doing all right now. I think, funnily enough, I'm doing okay. It seems like this position should be all right for me. Get that bishop as far out of trouble as I can. And play quicker is, is the key thing to do here. Ah, that was, a, that was a good move from him. Play quicker and I, I, I slow down immediately. Ooh. One thing I realise, I can't talk and play as quickly as I used to. I think even if you look at my videos, am I getting slower, guys? Am I literally getting slower in, with my age? That'd be most depressing if I'm actually getting slower, wouldn't it? I mean, that, that you know, I'm not getting that old. But if I'm actually slowing down, that's that's bad news. Okay. Uh, I think I might be getting slower. I'm, I'm turning into old man Williams. Old man Williams, that's not good. Right, come on. I just need to get to this one. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, queen queen c6 is is an idea. Rook takes c7, c2 might also may also be possible. Uh, ah, where am I going with my pieces? He's going to go ah uh, knight here. I'm, I take his rook. Knight e3 feels like I'm doing all right still. Where do I put my knight? E3 or c3? Which of those two squares is better? Well, neither of them, because of that move. Oh God. Yeah, this is, I haven't found the best moves with my time and this one's a killer. Ah, oh, Williams. Ah, oh, okay. We start off slow again. That was interesting though, interesting game. I mean, it's a very risky opening, Tiger's uh, modern. I mean, I've had very good results so practically and. Tiger Hill at person is the world's like leading expert on it. And the good thing is you do get all these exciting games. Okay, so now we're going to try stuff from my killer D4 uh, DVD. And he's gone for the Dutch. And I think I recommend this against it. But I did not expect it. So this is the Korchnoi Gambit. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not going to be one of those days. Actually, taking there for my opponent is a bad move. He, he should not be doing that. But I, that, I simply mouse slip there, which is just, oh, oh, oh. What is this? The Korchnoi Dodge Gambit. Uh, and OK, well, I'm happy he's going pawn grabbing, I think, because, well, at least I get a little bit of tempo now, yeah, um, to push that queen about. But. Ah, oh, this is just such a horrible move. This is one case. This is the probably the only time you'll see me playing h4 and going and being like, oh no, and now he's coming here again. So well, I have to take that, and this is not cricket. This is horrible, horrible position. There's probably that was one case when h4 was like maybe one of the worst moves on the board. H4 is always a good move, isn't it? No, it's not. Not in this case. Okay, let's just take that. When in trouble, the best thing to do when, when things are going bad, just try to complicate it as much as possible. It's not always a good idea to complicate, but sometimes it can be when the position is sort of just really, really not looking good. Okay, so has he got any threats now? Probably. Probably something nasty. But if I can sort of try and sneak in, you never know. At least I've got an active rook. And my king can't go here because the queen e1. But is my king safe there? His king is not 100% safe. Okay, so now I can take on c7 at the right moment. But I think I should flick a check in first. Okay, he's got bishop back. But that's at least pushing him back a little bit. Still don't like my position. I'm sure you can understand why, but it's a mess. At least it's a mess. And is he just gonna castle now? He's not allowed to do that. That's not fair. What a horrible mouse slip that was, h4. That was horrendous. Hopefully he does castle now. So I've got a little cheeky rook g1, but I haven't really created everything over here. His bishops are very solid. So where does this queen want to go? Not many good squares. So can I go here? 
Maybe B3 is the best. Oh, I could, why didn't I take that on D5? Time to wake up, man. Time to wake up. This is really bad. I should have just taken on D5, yeah? That would have made much more sense. I think it's kind of, a, chess is, I think, a massive psychological thing. Uh, you know, when you, when you do one mistake, very easy to collapse and to do multiple, multiple errors after that, um, which I'm doing here. Good start. Right, so rook g1 and rook g7. Now, I'm gonna have to do this and hope for something there. I can't get into the position, unfortunately. So this is very bad. All my pieces are not really working particularly well. Mm, you know, look at this guy here. Look at the poor, poor little bishop. Poor little bishop on f1. Not a happy, not a happy guy. That's just not a move you want to play either, is it? King e1. Ugh, ugh. Um, now, at least I'm moving quicker. That's good. Right, let's just put that there and pray. I think I'm going to get mated, aren't I? With this check and then this check. Game over. I've got, okay, he's sneaking his way in. And he's got a big check here. A big check there. Ugh. There's so many things wrong with this position. It's just like, it's just disgusting. But you never know. You never know. You do know. You do know. Oh, God. I mean, look at that. You can't. Oh, oh this one's mate. Okay. Yeah, all right. No mouse slips. We're two down against this guy. Let's see if we can get a better one. Now, the Tiger's modern. I'm going to move quicker now. I think it led to a very interesting position. I'm already trying to think where I can improve. And I'm thinking here, maybe I avoid C5 for the time being. I'm going to go for another strategy, even though I think that led to a nice position. This is a very typical plan in the Dragodorf because you close the whole king side down. And this is the kind of position I actually really enjoy playing because it's very hard. He has to play this one. But you, he might find he's a bit overextended as well in this kind of position. He does. He plays the best move, which is, uh, okay, a bit annoying. Uh, now, do I play e6, e5, or c5? Many options here. Uh, now, if e5, he's going to go f5 and just continue. And if I take bishop, okay, I'm going to go e6. Try to hold that move off for a while. Um, if he goes bishop g2, I have this square for my knight. Okay, so he's castled, meaning I might be able to get some action over there at some point. Now, this seems like a useful move. Maybe I'm playing... Okay, so this is clearly what he wants to do. Let's just... This is useful. Sometimes your bishop will have to retreat here if the pawn all comes all the way up as well. But at the moment, I'm just playing a little bit passively because I'm stopping this move at all cost. So... It would be nice if we could try something a bit more active. So let's see if I can go for this. And now he has played this move. So, and this is this is the pain, no? Well, I'm not going backwards now. I'm only going forwards. This is the idea. Very sharp stuff again. And you can see Tiger's modern. I mean, even, you know, it can go horribly wrong, but it can go horribly right. <laughs> It's horribly right, even a, even a, even a, a sentence. Okay, so now if he takes here, what about this weird move, setting up a little trick? Knight takes f6. I mean, I don't know. That look that looks like totally wrong, but I've got a little trick. <laughs> Sometimes little tricks are quite funny, and the idea is I I, I poked the little bishop out there. That was like kind of like a nasty, a nasty little trick. Uh, okay, so now. I'm happy to open up the C file, so this is looking better. Complete mess this game. And still a complete mess. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's you know, so you get fun positions. Now time to put pieces near his king. And what is happening here? Am I better? Am I worse? Anyone know? I don't know. I'm going to actually try to put a bishop on that square. His king's a lot more safe than I thought now that he's coming over here as well. God, that's a greedy move, isn't it? Right, let, let's 
let's go there anyway and uh, just see where he places that, that that one now okay well I oh he's gonna he's gonna go bishop d7 if I'm not careful so we'll keep the rook there and we're trying to get the other rook here and somehow with all the pieces getting near his king and the thing that I always like about this idea of playing h5 which is very important even if it doesn't work out here is that generally my king is very safe because he has no pawn breaks on that side of the board so he's playing very quickly now but i feel i'm making quite good progress here no am i or am i not so let's keep moving the pieces as near to his king as we can maybe i can take and move the other one in and do i even want to play bishop here well let's go for bishop there because i have ideas now of this one at some stage and last piece maybe my queen can come over to to line up against his king so he's gone for this aggressive move and it may force me back so let's do it quickly uh, weird stuff yeah okay so he's forced me backwards but he's also creating weaknesses of himself which i feel like i should be able to get enough counterplay somehow but how um well if i take he goes here so maybe i should if i take the rook he goes here at the end and then i have knight c6 so let's try this one time again he's quick isn't he this guy's playing very well today oh no i, I totally forgot that is about his bishop oh dear this is like a travesty this is why i don't play blitz and youtube it uh okay now he's gonna come over here as well oh right in we go let's throw throw him in throw him in and pray no choice there now i have a cheeky checkmate idea here check knight b3 mate but he must better stop it somehow okay oh dear interesting games but not not very good results unless we can get this one going Oof, what is happening guys what is happening what the hell is going on oh, jesus is this working oh he's got that bummer Oh, he's got out of it again, hasn't he? Oh, so annoying. Even here, even there, I'm probably doing okay somehow. It's annoying. Ah, oh, so we start with a nice solid zero three. Um, I'm not going to re-record it. We don't need to do that. The second game is a mouse slip and we're getting a little bit better. Now, I'm going to show you that this is actually a very good line if you don't mouse slip. And now, now we've given him that little, you know, little little head start. We can now, we're properly warmed up. You've got to take your losses and not be too like, Ugh, which is easy to do. And uh, it's time to kill, isn't it? Time to kill. Right. So no more Mr. Nice Guy. And this is very dangerous when you can get this capture on this square. And already this kind of position, I feel, should be should be pretty good for me with this development. And a lovely square here for my bishop. If I can get my knight there, all my pieces will be attacking his, his position. So he could try e6, maybe e6 and just give a pawn back and put the bishop here. Kind of thing I'd be doing. Because if he plays too passively here, he's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. But he's playing well. So he's going to, he hasn't, he's found another way to do stuff not having any of that good move he keeps finding good moves um and this open line on the h file should always give me some nice chances uh, i feel could be wrong we've been wrong in the other games that last game though i've got zero out of two with tigers modern okay so he's playing this he's going he's going for uh, a more solid position now right I can't we just take this one what am i missing here oh he has this check he's finding he's playing well this guy yeah 
I miss this check as well. I have queen here, so what is going on? And I have bishop check as well, attacking his queen. So I feel my pieces are working. These two threats are very strong. If queen to, if rook to d8, how's that working out? I go bishop d7, rook takes, queen takes, king takes. So he's going here. Now, if I go knight takes, bishop takes is check, but I get a lot of pieces. If I go bishop takes, bishop here first, then he can move his king, of course. But I also have bishop g5s here. But I think just taking here is probably the right way to play. And I should be a piece up at the end of this if I just simply take here. So I am a piece up. Good. The, the, the tactics worked out in my favor. It doesn't mean I'm going to win this one, but it should be winning. So let's just play sensible moves, get my last rook into the game. And... I should be doing very well here, yeah? Useful little move, probably. And if it, do I have this one? Let's try this, try to simplify. When you material up, if you can swap swap off some bits and bobs, it's, it's generally a good idea. So we go here, and now I have this one I wanna go for. We've gotta win one game against this guy. You know, starting with, starting with the three losses. This is a good sign to the real YouTube, you know, you real YouTubers out there. Anyone, I bet there's going to be loads of comments saying, ah, oh, you know, he lost all his games. He lost, he lost the first three. You know, what an idiot, what an idiot. Oh, there's no point watching. But then you real guys who are still watching, you know, the real, the real, you know, I was going to say avocados. What do I mean to say? It's my dyslexia coming in. The real, the real, real guys out there, you know, you know who you are. You can, you'll be like, oh yeah, well, I've stayed a bit longer and he's actually going to win the next 20 games. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, these pawns are still annoying. Okay, okay, don't don't count your chickens yet. And do we go, ch oh, let's do this. Stick with my instinct, don't lose some time. And get the knight around, that seems like a plan. Avocados, what am I saying, my dyslexia. The thing with dys being dyslexic, you, you, you know what word you wanna say, but you, you uh, it's, you can't remember how to say it sometimes. So you, you end up just saying a load of rubbish quite quite often and actually playing a load of rubbish. What am I doing with my pieces? Horrendous. Uh, okay. This guy's been very annoying. He's not giving up. Well, I, I can't afford. He probably wouldn't give up, but it's still a bit annoying when I don't give up. Okay, let's just do this. Give myself a check so I can try and push this pawn. But this is really unclear now. Oh no, the fear is coming. Well, should be better for me. Should be better for me, but doesn't mean... Okay, let's go there and try to get my rook to b6 now. Or, okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Should be good for me. 24 seconds, man. Am I, have I let that pawn go a bit too far? No, I can get back in time. Get back in time. I can get back in time, son. Here we go. Oh, I can win a game. How does it feel, Williams, to win a game? Just push it. Push it. Well, if I don't win this, I'm an idiot. Oh, come on, man. Even I can do this in eight seconds. Even I can do this. There we go. Little, little bit of focus. Just a little bit of focus. He was actually, he was looking to adopt me there. Okay, Tiger's Modern, come on. Handle Tiger's Modern. He's playing it very well. I've got zero out of two with Tiger's Modern, so we're gonna have to have a think. Now, I like this move. Now, what I might do, I might go here. How about that straight away? Because he's always going G4. And I think my positions I was getting were, were quite okay. 
but how about we do that one? And now I'll go here. Let's see. Willie Castle Queenside. He seems like the kind of chap who will. I always, I always like playing Queenside. There you go. I always like playing Queenside Castlers because you get more interesting positions, even if he does keep whipping my bottom. You know, you still get more fun games. So with this, we're, we're going to attempt to play uh, C5. And I hope I'm not going to get hit by something. I'm going to castle first, maybe a little bit oversensitive. And then which one of these guys? This is the thing with Tiger's Modern. It's one of those openings which is very exciting. It's hard to play because you have lots of various plans. There's not just one plan. Often you have, you can either go C5, you know, lots of different plans. So he's, he's a very aggressive player, this guy. So he's gone, he's trying to get the first attacking, but I feel this again, easy to say, should be all right for me. And now he'll probably want to come and take here, knowing, knowing the way this guy does play. I could take, and then, or I could go here and allow this and pray. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, now, knight takes great square for my knight, and he's going to course push Harry. <sighs> Jesus, this guy's dangerous. Okay, so I can now try and meet with Gary or with bishop h6. I've just got to contain this as much as I can. The computer, I'm sure, would say black's winning, but I like the way my opponent's playing. I always appreciate players like this who just go straight for you. Uh, he's a bit too quick for me. I wish he'd spent a little bit, you know, longer on his moves. So, I, you know, but we're going to come back now. Three one. Who thinks? Who? Okay. Who thinks I can win this four, four, four one? Who thinks I can get back? You place your bets now. Can I get four three even? Can I win the next three? That'll be that'll be okay. That'll be a good. That'll be. I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with that session. So let's see. Okay. Right. Well, we. Might sacrifice the exchange. I say that, and he's found a good plan, hasn't he? He's going to win the exchange here. I have one pawn though, so it might not be tra completely horrible. Does he have this move? Maybe. Okay, so check here. Don't know if that helps me or not. He has to come here now, and he's going to win the exchange. But my knight, my knight is very good, so. This is not terrible. How's he going to move my knight? My knight should be compensation. I have one pawn as well. So he's still coming forwards. Should I go on g5? Closed it down? Maybe. But I feel I feel this is some compensation with my fantastic knight, which can't be budged at all. So we're going to try now to do something over here. This looks like quite a risky move he's played there. Now here, takes, takes. But maybe it's all right. Now this bishop needs to reroute itself. Okay. He's playing very risky chess, this guy. He's a risky player, isn't he? Rook h3 would be a very good move here, I think. Okay, what's he doing with that one? Don't see what he's doing. He's trying to come in and give me a check. He, he loves attacking this guy. So bishop here, check. Well, okay, you can have a check. The thing of this position, my knight is such a good piece. It covers loads of squares. And I think, I might, I think my king is actually quite safe. It covers these checks. It covers, it covers a lot of stuff. Now my, the only piece that's not working is this guy. So I want to get this guy around somewhere like this square, at least activate it. So I should be, I, should, I think I should be better here. Should be better. Yes, I know you want me to check. Pawns need to be pushed. It's not clear what my opponent's doing. My piece is, oh, look at my knight defending that pawn. Very, very useful. Okay, thank you. So I think, yeah, I mean, his, his position was always bad. And now... Okay, good. There we go. Two more. Four, three. So, would he want to play any more, though? Maybe he's had enough. Oh, no. Come on. I'm just getting the roll going now. I'm just getting the roll going. Tiger's Modern seemed to work there. What was that position like? That was, again, very double-edged, wasn't it? Oh, he's, he doesn't want to play anymore. He's left the chat room. He wants to sit in his free one. So, whoever thought I wouldn't get there, you win. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm, this is something in the killer D4 DVD. I don't actually look at too much the B6 line. So I'm not totally aware. But I, I've always felt white's a little bit better with the big center. Tony Miles used to play in a similar way to this, trying to get the knight into this square and put pressure on, the, on my center here. But we now get kind of a French defense where it's not clear, it's not clear precisely why he's put his bishop on b7 because his bishop on that square is not really going anywhere it's just stuck behind pawns and this is the kind of and the kind of way you move your pieces here well i want to try and contain him on the queen side while starting an attack on the king side and normally normally the way to do this actually to send the knight over to the king side first so that is what I'm going to try to do. What is my opponent doing? I don't know. What's that last move? He wants to double rooks. Okay, I don't mind. Because he hasn't really got any access points on that side. And his king side, you know, if he comes here, I've got bishop d2. My bishops kind of control everything. So all his access points are not really working. And it is his king side, which should be under some pressure, as it's seeming to be now. Uh right so let's move in you see this maneuver this is a maneuver that i i had when i played the french john nunn played this maneuver against me and i got in a lot of trouble uh this is when i was about 12 years old i really remember it john nunn mo moved his knight to this square against me in some french defense i did not see it coming john nunn who magnus said could have been world champion um and he put the knight there and i always found like that knight there just paralyzed me forever because g6 was allowed this square and you know it should be a very big initiative for white and look he hasn't really managed to get enough play so this this plan i call the nun plan seems to be working extremely well here now this this should be winning uh let's go for the king hunt if he takes uh, queen e5 or rook f1 just got to do a little bit of calculation well he's too scared he's got to come back and now it should be it should be curtains but his rook does one good job of defending that now can i go rook there and finish in style oh i like this one does this work better bloody work does that work or am i am i complicating things i probably didn't need to do that i probably should have just gone bishop b1 queen here queen there but the idea is if he takes the rook i've got check king here check well, let's see. Am I, am I, have I calculated this wrong? Check. Check. And now this check and then this check was what I thought. But it, there's also other ideas here. What's the best way to win this one? Can't take here. So this check, check. This check, I think, is winning. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, and then this check, and then this check, then this check, then this check, then this check. <laughs> and you can't come to the C file because of things, but this is winning. You know what? That 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 felt good. That one felt good. Yeah. That that you know I can be happy with that one. That that's that's all right. He's had enough. We like it. It was worth it just for that little 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 onslaught at the end there. Um, okay, well I, I think I've lost three, one three. I'll try a couple more games. Why not? We're here now, so let's let's give a couple more a go, and uh, we'll see see how we get on. And ta -ta -ta -ta. so, if anyone wants to play, oh, it's only just added my added my time on. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. So, come on, anyone else want to play? No? Has everyone thought, oh, you know, I've, I've been, you know, I don't want to give this guy any more plays. Come on. Also, one day, uh, Christmas is coming up, as we know. Um, I think every year on YouTube, I've gained about 10,000, uh, what do you call it, subscribers to the channel. Every year, it's been about 10,000. But this year, unless I get to the 40,000 mark, I haven't. So it's been my slowest year on YouTube. I haven't done as much stuff. And there's other great material out there, you know, 
suppose the stuff I do is quite specialised, isn't it? You know, I do I do stuff which not everyone's going to like, let's be honest. Um, but it'd be lovely if I got another thousand and a half subscribers by the end of the year. I'll do a massive stream then, a massive stream when we get to 40,000 subscribers. We'll get there one day. Doesn't bother me too much about the numbers. Okay, now, Tiger's Modern or the Dutch? It's my opponent's choice. So, or neither. Ah, oh, dear. Now, a little opening I often play against this is this little one. I think I'm one of the only players in the world to play it. And now here, and it's quite interesting. You, you take you take a big center um, away from your opponent. And often after F3 now, his king can be quite weak. So... He's a little bit cramped with my pawns in the centre. And if he did go d3, I have this, this idea of going uh, e3. So, okay. Quite happy with the way this has turned out so far. I like having more space. You know, I always enjoy playing with more space. Now, do I even have knight g4 coming up with an immediate... Oh, it's so tempting, but maybe... Maybe we can develop in another way. Now, h3, bishop g3 check would be very amusing. Where I win the queen for two bishops. And this seems to cause him some problems. So he's trying to get rid of this bishop, which is a real, real nuisance for, for him. And I'm going to have to lose that bishop. But I have development advantage. His king is still in the middle, so... Hopefully there's some way to take advantage of that. He can now play h3, though. Can I even go bishop to f3? Takes, pawn takes, knight f4. And I think he's okay. So it makes sense not to do that and to move my bishop. Now I could take, but then queen takes kind of helps him. So... I will come backwards here. I think we have to make this the last game, guys, anyway, uh, as that is work in call in calling. And we're going to have to... So I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about sorry about the ringtone. Sorry about that. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to get some more YouTube videos out. It's just when I have time to do it, you know. I've got time to do the YouTube videos, and it's not always possible to do that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I prefer white here, I'll be honest, because he's managed to maintain this lovely bishop and my, my kingside attack didn't work so well. But the pace of this guy is much better. He's much more chilled. Much more chilled pace. You know, he's, he's playing good moves, you see. And this is like a typical Dutch defence plan. The queen comes over and he's got two files to attack on in, in, in this position. It's not all bad though, because I can I can play with this. It's just this bishop, which you put there on move two. I've got time edge, yeah, you know, this, this could be worse. That's quite risky because, uh, uh, you know, f6 might look more positionally correct to, to block the bishop out. I think this is a position where I do want to exchange queens for the reason that you can see his bishop come into life. Uh, which it still is trying to do, as we can see. And it is coming to life. Oh, no, he's got bishop d5. Yes. Okay, I'm sort of hanging on here, aren't I? Hanging on. Again, might be all right. He's playing, he's suddenly playing quicker. Suddenly playing quicker. Let's see how we can try to contain this. Oh, I've just, well, okay. Yeah, this is this is still ugly. Oh, that's a, that's even good as well, right? Well, I've got time. I've got time edge, but that's about it here, isn't it? My position is falling apart. Maybe if I can get a pawn here and a. And a Pawn here and a knight here, that'd be great, but I don't see how I'm going to get my knight to this square. So he's stopping 
my rook coming in and he's got his bishop to a fantastic square so he's played well and we're going to resign that one okay well look i've got to get back to doing some work there just a quick video guys one thing i would like to mention tomorrow if you are in london there's the um chessable christmas party and you can search this online um here you go it's by the london chess classic at the hand and flower pub in kensington so if you are from london you live in london this is starting like i'll be there around seven o'clock i think so i'll probably see you there hopefully if you come along at seven o'clock just google google the chessable merry christmas party and i might see you there so thank you very much i'll be back soon cheers for now Thank you.